Hello everyone, so for today I'm going to teach you on how to create your first project. Okay, so we'll be naming your first project as Hello Cody. Okay, so um, to create a new project, just click Start New Project and create new app inventor project and then the project name is hello Cody so this is just an example of the name of your uh, first application <clears throat> and then in here uh, we have the UI or the user interface that the we created which is the hello Cody so first is um, to do we'll be creating an application okay the name is hello Cody so <clears throat> hello Cody tap the B hear the B buzz okay so hello Cody is a simple app that you can build in a very short time you uh, we will be creating a button that has a picture of the Cody the B on it and then program the button so that when it, it is click the phone will make a buzzing sound so to build hello Cody, uh, you'll need an image file of Cody the B. So download this file to your computer by um, clicking the links that I sent to your Google Classroom. Okay. And then first select the components to design our app. First is to select the button. So click and drag the button. Okay, so the App Inventor components are located on the left-hand side of the designer window under the title Palette. Components are the basic elements you use to make apps on the Android phone. They're like the ingredients in a recipe. Some components are very simple like a label component which just shows text on the screen or a button component uh, that we tap to initiate an action. Okay, so other components are more elaborate, a drawing canvas that can uh, hold still images or animation. Okay, and then also the accelerometer sensor that works like a Wii controller and detects when you move or shake the phone. So to use a component in your app, you need to click and drag it into or onto the viewer in the middle of the designer. So as you can see here we drag the button from here okay what you add is component to the viewer it also appear in the components list on the right hand side of the viewer which is here Compu components and then we have the button one then components um, have adjustable properties these properties change the way the components appears or behaves within the app so to view and change the properties of a component, you must first select the desired component in your list of uh, components. So this is the component, the button one. So Hello Cody will have a button components that display the image of the B uh, we downloaded earlier. So to accomplish this from the user interface, Okay, drag and drop the button. So this is the, the button one. Then to give the button the image of the B, in the properties, <clears throat> under image, click the text none. Image. Click the text none. <clears throat> and click upload file. And click the choose file. Okay. Then you need to find where is the our image so this is the image this is the Cody then click open click OK step 2 change the button text property so delete the text for button 1 delete so leaving the button text proper T blank so that there's no writing over the B image Step 3, uh, from the user interface palette, drag and drop the label component to the viewer. So this is the label. <clears throat> Under the properties pane, change the text. So we have here the text for label 1. Change the text to touch the B. Then change the font size into 30. 
uh, text color. We have here the text color. Okay. So we will be using the black. Then um, also the background color will be using yellow. Then step four under the palette, click on the media drawer. So this is the media drawer and drag out a sound component. So drag out and drop in the <clears throat> viewer. So wherever you drop it, it will appear in the area at the bottom of the viewer, mark at the non-visible components. So under the media pane, I'll click the upload file then choose file and we have here the B sound then click OK then here the source okay so we click the B sound click OK then we will be moving to the blocks window so programming with the blocks editor so, so far, you have uh, been arranging your app screen and components in the designer, which is uh, in a web browser window. To start programming the behavior of the app, you need to go to the blocks editor. So this is our blocks editor. Click the blocks button in the upper right of your screen to go to the blocks editor. Once you have the blocks editor in front of you, continue to the next step uh, so that we can able to program our apps with blocks okay so playing the sound step one on the left side of the blocks editor click button one and drag and drop the when button one click clock in the work area okay so those mustard yellow blocks are called event handler or event handler blocks the event handler blocks specify how the mobile device should respond to certain events a button has been pressed, the phone is being shaken, the user is dragging her finger over a canvas. Then when button one that click is an event handler. The next is click the sound one in the drawer and drag the sound one play. Okay. And connect it to the do section of the when button click block so the blocks connect together like puzzle pieces and you can hear a clicking sound when they connect the purple blocks are called command so these are the purple uh, blocks which are placed in the body of event handlers when an event handler is, is executed it runs the sequence of commands in its body a command is a block that specifies an action to be performed. Example is playing sound when the event uh, is triggered. So your block should look like this. Okay, so when button one that click, do call sound one play. Now you can see that the command block is in the event handler. So this set of blocks means when button one is click, sound one will play. The event handler is like a category of action example is button is being clicked and the command specifies the type of action and the details of the action example is playing a sound <clears throat> then after that we go back to the designer and click the build so we have two options app provide qr code for apk and app save apk to my computer so i'll try it to save it to, the, to my computer. If you see this, the build server is currently busy. Please try again in a few minutes. So just try until you see the app is being downloaded into your computer. Okay, so compiling. It will take a while uh, to compile uh, an application in the MIT app inventor. So just be patient on waiting the application okay then after a while you will see the application is downloaded in our system okay or you can use the app provide QR code okay for this you will need the application that you installed in your devices okay the uh, AI2 uh, companion app 
okay and that's the end of my tutorial and hope you learned something uh today okay so see you again next time good day